So continuing with the continental grip, we're going to talk about movement in this part of the video. Movement with our legs. Now remember, we started out back here in this box for practice. The right leg moves with the racket. Now that's great if the ball is coming right to me, where I can just get that right leg out and swing and make contact with the ball. But what about a ball that's further away from me? Now, as we advance in tennis, we learn something called a, a split step. It's a movement that helps us react in which direction we need to go. As a beginning tennis player, time understand when to get into that split step and move often it's way too early or way too late it's it, it, there's a fine balance there as well as uh, they tend to be a little bit more on their heels and they over exaggerate that split step and if you're so far apart lost if my legs are so far apart I can't shift my weight off of one to get to the other so let's Let's use a different technique to move to the ball. Rather than incorporating the split step, we're going to move with the leg behind. Now let me explain. If I'm going to my forehand side, that's going to be my left leg. So as I see the ball coming, my first step is going to be as my left leg comes over and then my right leg plants. That's the important part of this step. As I see the ball coming, it's going to be coming, I'm ready, 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 racket's ready. My first step with my left leg moves me over so that when my right leg lands, I'm in the right position. It's exactly as if I had just taken that step with my right leg. So I see the ball coming, left, right, there's my do that again. I see the ball coming, left, right. I'm crossing over the top, but I'm turning my body. Again, it's as if I'm walking away, but I'm going to use that little cross step. Left, right. I'm in that position again, ready to swing at the ball. How about if I need to go a little bit further? Let's see if I can get to that point there cross over I still need to go further side step aha I am at that position where I've loaded my right leg so crossing over first cross over side step I've loaded that right leg before I swing at the ball this is where I'd like you to begin with your steps movement to the ball with your legs getting that right leg on the forehand side in the right place and the exercise that I like side step exercise you can see me doing it here I'm going to practice by warming up crossover side step crossover side step I can go back the other way crossover side step I want to do that a lot so this becomes very easy and efficient for me getting in position with that back leg and we haven't talked about backhand side with a continental grip but we'll get to that but let's continue with the forehand side a crossover step first crossover step puts me in the right position for a ball that's a little further away crossover step let's do that again Ah, crossover side step. I had to hesitate there. It's a little difficult when you don't have a ball coming at you. Crossover side step. Ball that's further from me. Crossover side step in. Planting that right leg. Your exercise again before I begin feeding you balls is just to come out on the court, crossover, side step, crossover, side step, over side step. We can begin doing that on the backhand side as well. Short court, we need to keep our bodies looking towards the net. That's why it's important that we're not completely turning 
and then having to turn and come around, this crossover step keeps me, for the most part, looking at the net. Remember our left hand. Crossover, side step, through. First step is a crossover, side step. Step is my plant. My right arm is towards the net and I come through. Sorry, my left arm is towards the net. Let's look at that again. Crossover, side step. I'm right back, ready for the next ball.